the cruise bazaar. The U-Bahn ride home feels especially comforting today. The Berlin chapter of the Humanist Political Club has suffered a terrible blow, and you're the one who dealt it. Volker Stahl's plan to incite a wave of bloody violence across Berlin has been derailed. It isn't often that a Shadowrunner gets to prevent an atrocity on the job. Your PDA rings. The face of your fixer, Paul Amsells, appear on the screen. I do can. I have new information to discuss about the estate. Please come as soon as you can. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alex, and this is Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. We are right back where we left off here in the Kurtz Bazaar. And now that we're back, we should probably go talk to some of our good friends. Hello, Gunman Fraulein. What can I do for you? I've uncovered the human. I've uncovered what humanity is up to. You'll find the details on this data pad. Breckenhauer eyes the plans and data pad, then nods grimly. This fits with humanity's established pattern of behavior. Horrific and vile. According to this data pad, humanist compounds all over Berlin have received similar shipments. They are planning to deploy their gas tomorrow morning. He exhales sharply and nods again. I have a feeling that the flux state will have a thing or two to say about that. Stahl has overstepped his bounds. His hubris will be his undoing. Actually, I was his undoing. Volker Stahl is no longer among the living. That... That is excellent news. I am not ashamed to say that I wished the man dead. He deserved whatever you did to him. And now I'm going to see if the rest of his twisted organization suffers from the same way that he did. You mark my words. Within the next few hours, the Humanist Pol Poly Club is going to take a hammering that will make Night of Rage look like a peace rally. I owe you a great deal, Idukin. We all do. I will wire your payment to the account number that Amsel provided. Pleasure doing business with you, Samuel. And you know what? That just feels nice. Now, does he have anything else? No? Nope. Okay. How about our good friend over here? Aleski Lane leans on his crutch while staring into the Berlin sky. Nothing more than gray clouds. His faraway look is only broken when he's approached. Something I can do for you? Just checking in. I appreciate that you're making uh, of the effort you're making. We got some big shoes to fill around here. I try. Try harder. Time is not on your side. Nothing stays secret for long in the flux state. The flux demands transparency. The truth will always get out, and the truth about Monica's death is now on the breeze, flowing through the streets of Berlin. Next to come next come visitors of uncertain intent. Some may just be in the bottom feeders, sniffing after the leavings of the dead. Others will be hunters, looking to exploit a leaderless tribe. I'm in charge here, and I'll see the rest of Berlin knows it. The troll snorts, but can't stifle a grin at your bravado. You do that. Even Bluff, even Bluff and Buster can dissuade a weak-willed opponent. There are, there are trying times ahead. Seen it before, too many times before. Anything else you need? I wanted to hear more about the war. Lane grumbles and massages the phantom pain in his synthetic legs. Damn it! Why won't the world just leave the old soldier uh, fade away like MacArthur promised? <clears throat> uh, you're military. Where did you serve? Back home, in the Finnish Defense Force, Jaeger Brigade. Lane clenches and unclenches his fist, either out of repressed anger or phantom pain. His withered face betrays nothing. The Russians thought to come at us from the north as well as the west, through Lapland, through the Lapland, thinking us weaker there. They thought wrong, and the snow was painted pink on both sides of the border. Tell me more about the Euro Wars. I doubt there's much I could tell you that you wouldn't have learned in school. That you should have learned in school. Russians invaded. Hell if I remember hell if I can remember why. World was more of a mess back then than it is today, if you ask me. They attacked Poland and Finland first. Poland broke within month, opening the door into Germany. I had no contacts in Berlin back then, mind you. Can't really say how bad things were here. Had battles of my own to worry about. Sorry, didn't mean to bother you. Thank you. Anything else? No, I'll be going. So let's go see what's going on over here. Simmy! <clears throat> Simmy. 
Simi Kim weaves awkward through, uh, weaves awkward dance through scattered refuse. Her two thin legs wobble, but she keeps her footing throughout. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. That's lovely singing, Kim. Do you like the song? It means tomorrow will be a better day. Monica used to say something like that. When I was tired, when I was sad, when I all when on when I only wanted to sleep, she would tell me that. She told me I would she told me I would forget the pain would go away. I've lived many lives, but I've been an orphan more times than anything. It was the first story when I, f I found when I needed to go away. So, do you like it here in the Kurtz Bazaar? Kim turns her head so as not to look you in the eyes. Her posture is that of someone who fears a possible repression. It's good. I can get away whenever I need from Zack Flash or Doc Ekebel, and they let me uh, and they let me pay however I can, sometimes with a favor. Monica was always nice, and Paul Amsell, and the angel is nice to, to me too, usually. I know Monica's gone now, but I can stay, right? Of course you can stay, Kim. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know what else what I would do. Anyone else ever, anyone ever try to get you off the Sims? But I need them, Monica understood that, and Zach says they're safe. I don't know what I'd do without them. Without them, I dream, and I don't want to dream. I don't want to remember. They help me forget. They help me to be strong and smart, and I never lose anyone. That makes it a good thing, right? Better be strong and smart in the real world. I wish I could be. Let's talk about something else. All right. Or not. The angel is nice to you sometimes. Well, let's check it out. Small, grimy monitor the base statue flicks dimly to life. Hello there, I'm Herbert Kinzel. Tribute to victory. An obvious. About the artist. Huh? Seems the same as ever. Ooh, let's check out the phone booth. It's an old, obsolete phone booth. Deliver the humanist donor list. The machine accepts the data upload. Only a few moments later, a certified crit stick spits out the coin slot. The phone's old LCD readout, readout displays information. Freedom, equality, information. Shock and Ryla. Walk away. Cool. Talk to Amcel and raise money. Ooh. And we can, uh... Let's see. What's our charisma up to? Well, we don't really use it other than for basically charisma. We could learn a new etiquette, but let's uh, raise that willpower first. Let's see. Eight. All right. Can we use that three intelligence? Not intelligence, charisma. We could. But you know what? I'm not going to yet. Because just save it up for that willpower to be good. Once that's maxed out, then we can start really going down the uh, charisma path. All right, let's see. Is anyone else around the Kurtz Bazaar need uh, our attention? Let's check in with the Cyber Doc. Doop. Triage Cyber Clinic. Welcome back. What can I do for you, my friend? Uh, I found this schematic. I think you can hook me up with this Chrome Auto Injector. Hmm, very nice. The design appears simple enough. You should be able to provide you with it. It won't be cheap, though. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. I need cyberware. Not really, no. But the uh, I want to look and see what the auto-injector does. Strength cardio. Data jack. Huh. Guess it's not there. Oh well. I do need medical supplies though. I would like an advanced med kit, a basic med kit, and that should be good for now. Perfect.
Got a couple extra guns in the stash. What is it? Okay. Range 6, capacity 30. Range 6, capacity 8. Ew. Oh, yeah. Requires combat 4. And this requires a data jack, so not for me. We're good. Alright, some other time. Zack Flash, the dealer. We don't really need to deal with him. Ha ha. Ah, maintenance worker, what are you up to? Hey, buddy, sorry to bother you, but could I use some help here? You want to make a little extra scratch? Shouldn't take long. What's the problem? Well, me and my buddy Victor call cutting for the neat skits over. Something wrong with the sewers around here. Your local plumbers and mechanics are all useless. Vic and I talked to him and tried to get him to give us the maintenance schedule for your sewer pumps. They just scratched their heads at us. Said the machinery down there just took care of itself. My best guess is that your pumps have shut down. Happens from time without proper maintenance. When the pumps shut down, the waste starts piling up and it's causing some pretty major overflow problems downstream. <clears throat> what do you need me to do about it? Well, Victor went down there into the sewers while I was getting stuff off the truck. When I came back, well, I was about to climb down there and I heard some awful screams. They went on and on and they just stopped. I froze up, nearly crapped myself to be honest. I don't know what to do, but I can't go down there. Not after that. The problem is a problem. The problem is probably something basic—a clog that needs cleared, something like that. Restarting the pump should take care of it. But no goddamn way I'm going in there. If you'd like to, if you'd like, if you'll do the job for me, I'll give you the new yen we were paid for it. I don't need it. You can have it all. I can live without the money, but someone's got to fix those pumps. How much new yen are we talking about? Five hundred. For a quick, for a job quick, it's good money. Fine, I'll do it. You're a lifesaver, Chummer, and if you find Victor, well, if he's still alive down there, tell him I'm sorry. Well, now we know about that. Let's see. But before that, let's go check in with our magic and information dealers. Doop -a doop doop. This. There we go. Yes. Doop. Hi, Absinthe. How are you? Please see me. I have work to do. Okay, cool. I'll turn on. No. Oh, different spot. Hello, again, my friend. If you're selling, I'm buying. Cool. Power Bolt 3. Nice. Power Bolt 2. Also acceptable. Acid Bolt. Let's see. Plus one willpower. Plus... Ooh. Armor 6, plus 1 willpower. 1 willpower plus 1 spell casting. But armor 3. Occult robes. Plus 1 unarmed. Nope. We'll do that. Yes, please. And I will. Let's see. Weapons, dex, drones, all. There we are. That's yeah, better. And we look so much cooler. Oh, yes. And we go back to Eldranon and sell our old clothes. Yes, please. You stash sell items. You'll take that. And... You can buy our drugs, too. Kinda, sorta want to save some of this. Yeah, there we go. See if any of our friends want that. Because I know some of them have smart links. Okay. Blitz. <coughs> hey, buddy. Blitz stub, stub cigarette out as you approach. Hey, Dukin, I was hoping to see you. Do you have another run lined up yet? I'm strapped for cash. Uh, don't worry, we're doing fine on the job front. Amsel's been working time. Why the hell are you strapped for cash? With the amount of work we've been doing, you should be ro rolling in again. Uh, uh, when I have a run for you, I'll tell you. Until then, don't bug me. Yeah, don't worry. We're doing fine on the job front. Amsel's been working overtime. Oh, thank God, and thank you, Chief. 
Thank Paul too, come to think of it. So, uh, did you have a question for me, or was it a social call? Let's see, checking on you when I promise side. How you doing okay? Not too bad, Chief, not bad at all. Downright cozy in here. This probably goes without saying, but it's also nice to have my skills appreciated by someone who isn't a drug-addled psychopath. Gang life was getting old. Why are you so strapped for cash? With all the works we've been doing, you should be rolling in New Yen. What can I say, Chief? He tries on a thoroughly unconvincing smile, but it immediately seems to think better of it than an anxious look returns to the face. I have expensive tastes. I was hoping for straight answer. You got talent for deflection, please, or how can we talking? Even if you had a raging cram habit, I think you'd have at least some money left. And you're annoyingly persistent. And if you must know, I'm in debt. That's where all the money's going. In debt? To who? He hesitates before stunning, then he does. His voice carries an edge of annoyance. No offense, but this is getting a little too personal, Chief. My debts are none of your business. If some bookie sends his thugs looking for you, it's going to become my business, so talk now. And if you come to begging for work, then tell me it's none of my business. No, Blitz, tell me why you need the money. Alright, fine. First off, you don't need to worry about anyone coming after me. My debts are to a bunch of old contacts. If I don't pay them, uh, I'm going to lose them. And in this line of work, that isn't a, that it, it isn't smart to burn bridges. Second, before you ask, those debts are for services rendered. I was in a tight spot, I needed some help, and I threw and I threw around a lot of IOUs to get in. Third and finally, the trouble is I involved a girl. I'll tell you about I'll tell you about it if you ask me to, but we're verging deep into personal feelings territory. So if you don't want to hear my sob story of Max's girlfriend, you'll drop the subject now. So it's up to you, Chief. Do you really want to go down this road or should you keep our keep our relationship personal? You're clearly packing from this. If our line of work preoccupied can get you killed, so spill it out and we'll, and we'll deal with it. Or, this is a professional relationship. The last thing I want to do is hear about your love life. Go ahead, tell me. I'm interested. He meets your gaze for a moment and looks away in size. All right, where to begin? I met Emily in Dragon Keep. She was the first person who, ever, who was ever more important to me than myself. I was crazy about her, Chief. To this day, she's the only person I've ever... Uh, who I've ever met who could outdeck me, and the real kicker is she wasn't even a decker by trade. There was nothing she wasn't good at. I, I like to dabble in rigging, but Emily, the girl, could pick up anything and set her mind to it. Sounds like a hell of a girl. You loved her. I get it. Skip the part where you racked up debts. Okay, this was me. Right. Sounds like a hell of a girl. She was. She just made things right. No matter how stupid I was, no matter when I got myself into, she made it right. I don't think much of my people, Chief. Emotional attachments aren't really my thing. Love seems like diluted word these days, so I don't waste it on Emily. Let's just say that she was important to me. And then I lost her. I don't know what happened. It came out of nowhere. One day she was just gone, along with most of my decking gear. Only The only explanation was a handwritten note on an old-fashioned paper. Leave me alone. That was it. We've been together for years. And that was where she left me, that and the beat-up old cyberdeck. Naturally, I freaked. Uh, we'd had our share of arguments, but we never had a huge blowout or anything. I couldn't think of anything that'd drive her to do a thing like that. Mostly, I felt hurt, so I searched for her. The real world and the Matrix. And when that turned up nothing, I started tra tapping my contacts. And that's when I started racking up debt. And so, did you find her? That answers my questions. I don't... Yeah. Did you find her? No, she's gone, I dukin, without a trace. I looked high, I looked low, I poked into everything I could think of, and my contacts did the same. He shakes his head. She's gone, Chief. At this point, I've accepted that. But I still have, but I still have to repay those debts. I'm surprised you've given up so easily. There must be some place you haven't looked. I feel for you, man, but you're right. Best to leave the past, pay your debts, and move on. Now I'm going to be... Blinks. I don't know, I dukin. I really did look everywhere. And at a great personal cost. If she means that much to you, you owe it to yourself to try. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right. He shakes his head. I thought I was done with this. But you're right. Without some kind of closure, I'm never going to be at peace with this. Thanks for the talk, Chief. I'll let you know how it goes. You do that, Blitz. Good luck. And then let's see what Luca has to say. Hello, Sir Dukana. You look you looking for the part. Let me get right to business. My organization would like to pay you handsomely to take care of some business for us. All I have to do is continue your work, and we will be in touch periodically to ask you to complete very simple tasks. How do you know so much about me? My organization 
knows everything with, worth knowing in Germany, including the small, this small pond that is Berlin. It is our best interest, however, f to remain unknown. This much is all I will tell you. No thanks, buddy. I work alone. Sure, I'm in. Good, don't worry. I'll be in touch. When I contact you with a new task, you can take it or leave it. If you take it, return here, and I'll pay you a fair sum for your service. If you leave it, my organization will be quite unhappy. I would advise I would advise compliance, but there's always some margin for extenuating circumstance. Neat. And there's a thing over here. Special day is Mocha Soycaf. Altong, anything interesting? Turk flashes very wry smile and winks at you knowingly. I'm told you've been quite busy late. A quiz, quite busy late. Oh, wanderer of the shadows! My street rats tell me the business is picking up. Is that the woman who has taken over for Monica? Bergoski? What does it look like? You round, you roundity, the Pope from the Vatican? Give her a soy calf, a big one, and put it on my account. I like the cut of her jib. A large soy calf? My, you are a generous one. Golden Schmidt, are you sure you can afford such a gesture? The fat man frowns. And a scone, I was going to say. And a scone as well. Nothing is too good for her. As you desire, O oh ample one, the Turk whispers. The man is a moron, and he eats his weight in baklava and pastries, so who am I to care? Now, what would you like? Give me a Turkish coffee, the real stuff. Very good. He hands you a ceramic cup with the filled to the brim with dark, streamy liquid. The scent is intoxicating. Is there anything else? Nope. Nice. Good old soy calf. Or no, not even soy calf. Good old real Turkish coffee. Okay, now we're going to check in with Mallet. Anything about that drone, maybe? Got that drone fixed yet? I do, just finished before you arrived. There's a complication, though. What is it? The drone's got a custom AIOS stack on it. Someone wrote code that sits on the bootloader and configures the drone to only accept commands from a specific user. The thing works like a computer virus, so there's no way I can rip it out unless I got another brain for it uh, from this model of drone. Before you ask, yes, I looked into that. Problem is, this, it's a stolen corp drone, a discontinued model of a stolen corp drone. There are no other parts for this thing on the market around here, so unless you know uh, who locked this thing up so tightly, you're going to get more use of it uh, than a, more use of it than a doorstop. Drek, I'll ask around for the owner. Thanks. Well, good to know. Talk to Amcel and. Uh, Hey, Alice. Well, you we can always use a few more new yen. So let's go check out the sewers. Assemble the team and head in. Glory? Yeah, we haven't brought Ike and we haven't brought uh, Iger in lately. And. Yeah, why not, Blitz? Alright. 